It was mentioned to me that some of you guys seem to like how I edit my videos, or rather, how I show how I edit my videos. So, I'm making another video showing how I edit my videos, but this is going to be a bit of a different editing video because it is going to be an editing video where I actually, for now I'm going to mute this so it doesn't just, you know, play and mess up what I'm saying. But I'm going to tell you guys how I'm editing a video that is like this. It had two different things. So, you know, it has my whole face on one end. It had the game on the other hand. But this isn't optimal for YouTube. So, what we are going to do before we edit anything, because we want to make sure that we're synced up to us talking, we are going to unlink these clips. They get linked by default because I have this turned on. You can turn it off if you don't want it linked by default, but I normally like them linked by default. And I will relink them as you can, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to hold alternate and drag this up so it will create another copy of this. Just another copy of this, plain and simple. And then I'm going to select all of these again and relink the clips. So now whatever one is affected, they're all affected. You want to do that so they can stay in sync. Also, I'm going to get rid of this part real quick because it was just bugging me, frankly. But here's what we're going to do, okay? We are going to disable the top track. Focus on the bottom right now. And now that we have that disabled, we are going to unlink them again, okay? I only linked them up because I wanted to change that one thing, which is probably a tip I have for you guys. If you guys are going to do any editing after this and you think you're going to mess up stuff, link them together to ensure you're not going to. But right now what we're going to do, we're going to focus on this video that we do not have selected, okay? And then we are going to focus on position, okay? Position we can put there for now, honestly. Because right now we also got to do zoom as well. Get it. Actually, we already know what these clips are. We want 1.925. Yes. 1.920. That is very specific what we wanted because that's very specific what it is. And then we position this here because that's what I recorded in. And then this would just be 9, 6, and then there we go with that. And then we have that just the way that we want there. We have 1.920 for the zoom in. And then position would be 960. Now, we could just have this top layer here. We could simply just copy everything here, per se. Like if we do 1.920, 920 for the zoom here and then if we go back here we would see that it's 960 so that means for here we would do negative 960 hit enter and then we would have that there to a degree as you can see it didn't do it perfect because 
this isn't perfect the way it is it's a little out of whatever but that's perfectly fine because for this particular video we don't want it that way we want to crop it now alternatively right now you could add fancy stuff over it that makes it do a certain crop if that's what you wanted but we are going to do it manually to show you guys okay just to show you guys i want to do it manually this time in the future i'll show you guys a cool tool that you can use but right now we're just going to do it manually and softness basically would just make it so you know you can have this cool soft effect if you so wish we are not going to because we do not wish and then we can put this here and say we want it let's say we want it here right we could even make it a bit smaller so it's right here or we could just put it on this side i think it works better on this side because i think that's what all the um youtubers from this particular game do which this particular game is called marvel snap if you want to check it out i'll put a link in the description below and you know let's actually do a little bit more okay and by a little bit more i mean let's actually well, let's actually see how we're talking in this okay so we are looking that way more so we will keep this like this but you know what we will add a bit of a drop shadow now this effect comes with this, okay? I've been purposely trying not to use plugins for your guys' sake, but this comes with, you know, DaVinci Resolve, okay? So just, let's see, what is this called? No. Let's just search shadow here and go to open effect. And then we have the drop shadow, which you can drag over or double click, which we double clicked and it adds that nice drop shadow, you see. Now in the future, I will be playing around with more effects and whatnot, but this is what I want for the purpose of this. And then we have this little nice thing here okay we didn't want it there anymore just moving it it's super simple we can just move it wherever we want wherever we see fit i actually am going to move it up a little bit more and there you go there's how you do this particular stuff with no added plugins or anything we just went to the inspector which how you open is like this and just played around with a few things in the inspector this is my own personal subscribe thing i'm not going to count it as a plugin because it's a video file of a subscribe thing so yes and bada bing bada boom there we go we are perfectly done editing a side by side video of our face cam with our gameplay and hopefully this has helped you or you found it entertaining in some way shape or form with that said i will catch you guys in the future. Let